Though cataracts can develop literally from birth, most cataracts are associated with the aging process, and it's not a hereditary abnormality or a disease state. Developing cataracts is normal and natural in each of us. Cataracts typically start with yellowing of the lens, which develops in our 40s, and by our 50s or 60s, cataracts are typically seen at the microscope. In our 60s or 70s, this is when most people require cataract surgery, and the surgical technique and technology used today is vastly different than was even appropriate 10 years ago. Currently, cataract surgery is done through a very small incision, typically under three millimeters in length, where a small probe is introduced into the eye about the size of a pencil tip. And at the end of this probe, gentle pulses of ultrasound are emitted, which we use like a sculptor's tool to break the cataract up into many, many small fragments. These pieces are then gently vacuumed out of the eye at the same time, and then a brand new lens implant is in placed into the eye where it assumes its natural shape and position for the rest of the patient's life. Under most circumstances, cataract surgery never needs to be repeated as the cataract itself doesn't grow back. Ultimately, most people will develop clouding of the capsule in the eye and like a cataract needs to be addressed, this capsule needs to be addressed as well. But this is a very simple procedure called the YAG laser capsulotomy in which we make a small opening through this cloudy membrane. If you're developing cataracts, the most typical symptoms include glare, difficulty reading for long periods of time, especially on the shiny pages of a magazine, night driving and issues from headlights or street lights, and ultimately a dullness of colors and decrease in clarity of vision. When we have our cataracts removed, since the cataract is the natural lens of the body, a new lens needs to be implanted. There are two types of lens implants. The first, or standard lens implant, is one that allows us to see in the distance or up close, but not both. So most patients have a lens implant that is focused for far away. For the last 15 years, we've had the incredible opportunity to employ premium lens implants. There are several premium lens implants to choose from, so we always use the technology that is in the patient's best interest. But this technology typically gives us the opportunity to provide for patients the ability to see at both distance and near, only needing glasses for occasional activities. After surgery, the patient receives instructions and then is allowed to go home or, in some cases, even out to a restaurant for lunch or dinner. The recovery from cataract surgery is brief. The vision is fluctuating typically for about a month, and patients are on eye drops to help prevent infection and to help get rid of the inflammation caused by surgery. When glasses are necessary, usually the final prescription is given roughly four to six weeks following the surgical procedure. I've had the opportunity since FDA approval of the premium lens implants to implant over 2,000 lenses. During this time, I have seen so many happy patients that in fact, I recommended this for my own parents when they had surgery performed, and I certainly look forward to the day that when my cataracts are ready for surgery, or if I develop problems needing glasses for both distance and near, even before I develop cataracts, I will have premium lens implants in my eyes as well. The Academy of Ophthalmology recommends that patients over the age of 60 have an eye exam performed each year. At the time of this comprehensive exam, we'll study the development of your cataracts and help you determine when cataract surgery is appropriate. At that point, we'll discuss whether or not you're a candidate for standard lens implants or whether you would benefit from the opportunity to employ premium lens implant technology.